Hello and welcome to my Surfer SEO review where I'm going to give you a little demo of some of the best features in my opinion and of course I'm even going to show you how to use the Surfer AI. I got an extra credit just to show you in this review. Nevertheless, if you want to check out Surfer SEO, I will leave my link down below in the description where you can get access to get started. Let's get started off with one of the first features, which is going to be Surfer SEO Keyword Research. As you can see on the screen in front of you, it allows you to discover dozens of relevant topic clusters in a matter of minutes. Establish topical authority and prove your expertise with the keyword research tools. So what I'm going to be doing throughout this whole demo and review is for this specific keyword around is golf a hard sport to learn. So what you can do here is put in any type of keyword you want, whether it be a seed keyword, maybe a longer term keyword. And with that, you're going to find some other ideas and of course, keywords that you can use when you go to write an article for that. Let's click on the create keyword research button. Okay, and once that is done loading, all you need to do is click on the keyword right here. So as you're going to see, we have many clusters for this main specific topic that we were going after. As you can see right here, it also goes by if they're informational, you know, transactional, however it's going to be. Uh, so we have golf is hard and we have plenty more keywords that we can utilize. Anything else that's going to be similar with it, for example, we have is golf a sport and plenty of other related keywords that if we wanted to write an article for, it's going to help us out. Golf tips for beginners. How many golf lessons should a beginner take? <laughs> what age to start golf lessons? What is the hardest sport? So you'll notice as it goes on, or at least what I've noticed is that it'll start getting a little bit more broad, not always, but most of the time. So we are talking about golf, but it's also going to talk about what is the hardest sport. This can be beneficial for you. Say, if not, you're not just a niche site of golf, but you're an authority site of sports, maybe talk a lot about golf and you want to expand outside that. So instead of why is golf such a hard sport? Maybe you want to do a separate article. What is the hardest sport? And you can link to that if needed, of course. So is hitting golf balls into a net good practice? How long does nine holes take? And so on and so forth. You can also, let's see, you can sort them if you want. So most relevant, you can do by highest to lowest volume. You can do lowest to highest and difficulty. Maybe you want to do low to high just so you can start getting some of those easy wins if you're going to be up and running and starting a website. What you can also do is if you like one of these batches, you can simply click on this button here to utilize the content editor. However, given the fact we know exactly what we're going to be creating content for, I'm going to go over here. So the content editor, in my opinion, is probably one of the best features. This is going to help you whenever you go to create a new article, you're going to be optimized right out the bat. Of course, once you write it and you can kind of use the gamification process, or at least that's what I like to call it when it comes to optimizing your content. So here, what we want to do, I put is, is golf a hard sport to learn? And I'm going to click on create for one CE credit. All right. So this is what it's going to look like after you click on, you know, the content editor button. And of course, you open it up on the right are going to be the guidelines, the outline in the brief. This is the fun part where you get to see which keywords that you want to utilize when writing your content to help optimize it. Generally, you want to be in between where they are. So this says right now we have zero. Obviously, nothing's written there, but you want to use golf swing four to 10 times. And the same thing with all the rest of them. This is where you're going to be adding in content right here. And of course, if you want to insert some outlines, you can do that as well. Normally, I just like using my own, but in case you want to use them, I will click on this so you can see what it looks like. And you'll notice once it loads, this is going to start going up now that we actually have some content, some keywords, some words, some headings, and so on and so forth. Nevertheless, I'm just going to do control all and delete that because there is one important thing that you're going to want to do before getting started to optimize your content in the content editor. Let's click on the gear right here for customize. And this is probably one of the most important parts. You usually want to pick at least five. Many times if you're going after a keyword that's new, you might not have many. So like I've had times where maybe there's just one or two and I would go with that because they're related. Nevertheless, what we want to do is model some of the best domains or articles here that are ranking for this, usually just within the top 10. Because if it's ranking in the top 10, it's probably doing something well. Let's focus on those. Something that's ranked 75, we don't care about unless it's on its way up. But if it moves to 10, we can analyze that. So what I like doing is actually going into actual Google right here, and I am using the Surfer Chrome extension. So as you can see here, it's going to tell us roughly what the estimated monthly traffic is. So what we want to do here is look for some websites that are either, say, similar to ours, just getting started, preferably not something that's going to be getting 5 million views per month. For example, say you're an affiliate site and maybe you get like around 25,000 views per month, you're probably not going to want to compete with something that is, let's see, 
Well, this is Reddit, so we don't need to do that one. Maybe like this one, 600 to 1,000. These might be a little bit bigger. So the bigger the authority website, you don't want to include because normally what happens is they have so much authority, so much power, they can pretty much write a non-optimized article and rank for it as long as they get some of the big things right, like the title, the URL, and the keywords. So this is already going to be off here, but this is Golf Waterton. So we can go over here, let's look for it. I've noticed that sometimes that these aren't matched up with the other ones. There might be a few that are just like, you know, up or down or like this is three, the other one's two. Not a big deal, but this has around 5,000 traffic a month and that's a good one. Okay. And then we have Golfing Focus, 50,000, not too bad. I like that one. Then we have Wind Tree Golf. This one seems to be pretty good. These are a little bit bigger there, but Back to Basics Golf looks good is back to basics golf. There it is. And then we have golf workout program. This one a little bit bigger, but we could probably take that one off and coaching kids. Plus what you can also do is just open it up in a new tab, check it out. This one looks like an affiliate site. Nevertheless, let's say we want to use that one. Okay. So what we can also do is change around like the amount of words. And given the fact we have chosen our competitors, it's going to change the amount of words, the headings, the paragraphs, and the images. So with this in mind, we need at least around like 2,200 words to 2,500 max. And it's going to give us the terms to use. I usually just keep all the green ones here, the ones in red. If you want to say like add a few in or so on and so forth, that's going to be up to you. But I like keeping it the way it is. We're also going to have some topics and questions that you can use within your article. So it's going to give you a lot of uh, guidelines to get up and running. And when you are done, we simply click on let's go. So this is normally the part where the rubber meets the road. You know, you have your guidelines here. You know how many words, headings, paragraphs, and some of the best keywords to use. Obviously, you know, if you're going to write it, you're going to have someone else write it. Maybe you're going to outsource it. Or what you can actually do is write it with Surfer AI pretty much in a few clicks. And that's exactly what I want to do. So let's go back over here. And here we are with our content editor. What I'm going to do is write with AI. And I'm going to paste this in. And here is our super difficult, quote unquote, super difficult keyword. Uh, let's hit that. And of course, what we want to do is create for AI credits. So AI credits is something that you can purchase separately. Every time you want to you know, get one, you can purchase it, but that's going to be separate from the monthly payment. Nevertheless, let's click on create for AI credit. I got a few of these just so I could showcase in my videos. So let's do this. All right, so here we are. We have our main keyword here. We have tone of voice. We can create uh, we, any type of content using any type of voice, whether it's serious, sarcastic. I usually like using witty, but something I think auto or cert based is going to be fine for this. Uh, we have anti AI detection in case you want to use that. And of course, we have an outline. So it says, I would like to review the outline in the next step. I think that's a good idea because you might want to make some changes. So let's click on create outline. And keep in mind that while you're going through the steps, there is going to be some waiting in between. And of course, when you go to actually generate your content, there's going to be some waiting as well. It's not like you click the button and immediately it's done. You know, you might have to wait a little. So that's just something to expect. Nevertheless, I will be back once it's done loading. All right, so here we have it with our title is Golf Hard Sport to Learn. Good, we're front loading our keyword. I like that. We have the complexities for the H2, and then we have some H3, so that's good. Talking about the importance of balance, timing and rhythm, the physical demands, uh, navigating various golf courses, the mental aspects. This looks phenomenal, if you ask me. I play golf. I haven't played a lot lately, but I am in Florida, so I've, I've played a lot of golf in my life, and I know from experience that these are a lot of the things I would talk about. Uh, so that looks great. Last but not least, all we need to do is click on Let's Write, and just from there, we're going to be able to go and it's going to write all the article for us and it's going to optimize it so the score is pretty high. And that's a beautiful thing because as we talked about before with the content editor, we had our brief ready, we had our correct uh, competitors, and all we needed to do was write the content. But now Surfer SEO is going to do it for us. Let's click on Let's Write and I'll get back to you once it's done. All right, and so while I didn't time that, I would say that was probably around 10 minutes. I have created another article previously where it was probably around half of this. I wanna say it was about five minutes. So around five minutes per thousand words or so. At least that's been my experience in case you're wondering how long it would take. But if you'll notice before we had everything over here, and pretty much all we needed to do was fill this in. But now it just wrote it for us and it optimized so that we have a nice content score. If you'll scroll down, it'll showcase some of these that we've used. Obviously, it could use a little bit more. I always talk about too when it comes to the content score. Don't go too crazy trying to get this really up high to 100. I feel like you would just be wasting your time. Once it's in the green, you should be good to go. And if you need to make some little optimizations, you can, of course, add in some more keywords here and there. But very quickly, I just want to kind of scroll through. I'm not going to read all of this. I have done that previously. 
So we have our H2, we have a short summary, the complexities of the golf swing, and this is where we can replace an image. And of course, when you go to put it into your website, that's what you can do. The importance of balance, timing, and rhythm. If anytime you want to go through and pause the video just to read the content yourself, feel free to. I have found that the quality is very high. It's It reads very nicely. It flows nicely. There's not too many run-on sentences. We have plenty of paragraphs here, which is also what we want too, which is nice. I like using paragraphs because it just makes it easier to read. I've seen articles before where it's just a wall of text and it looks like an essay. It's hard to read and it's very annoying. A lot of times people will just click on the back button and that's that. So we're kind of scrolling through summary and frequently asked questions. So Overall, that's going to be the uh, the AI new feature, I guess you could say, where you pay per credit anytime you want to get an article written for you. And it's great because it works hand in hand with what Surfer already has to offer. Not only are you getting your content created, but you can get it optimized. And that's a really big deal, especially if you wanted to outsource to someone else. You'd have to like teach them how to use Surfer, give them the guidelines. This just does it all for you all in one. And it's a fantastic feature. Nevertheless, this Surfer SEO review is getting a little bit longer than I thought, so allow me to go over the Surfer pros and cons, some of the biggest likes and dislikes when it comes to this SEO software. First and foremost, I specifically have had fantastic results with this software based on my experience, uh, and that's why I like it so much. That's why I want to re-review it, because I know they added a lot of new features, especially the AI at the time of creating this. That's pretty much a brand new feature, which I happen to like. Aside from that, I'd even call Surfer SEO quite possibly an SEO staple. For such a long time in my SEO career, it would always be focused on articles and backlinks. Of course, there's more to SEO, but I think you get the idea. It's like, what are you doing today? Creating more articles, getting more backlinks. And then Surfer SEO came out and it pretty much became articles, backlinks, and Surfer, optimizing your content. I remember I had a little coaching chat with someone in Gmail and they're pretty much like, your website looks great. Just make sure you're optimizing your articles with Surfer. I'm like, I'm already doing that. Like you're good to go, keep doing your thing. So this can pretty much be a bread and butter software when it comes to your overall SEO process, especially if you wanna get that extra advantage over someone who's not using it. It's a great tool to have. I also like the fact that it almost gamifies creating content. As you'll notice, it can kind of get a little bit fun when you're going to create your content here, kind of boosting up your score. Maybe you're somewhere in the middle at like 50 or 60 and you want to get it into the green. In my opinion, it's just a cooler way of doing SEO because a lot of the normal tasks as an SEO can get mundane, plain, and boring doing the same thing over and over for months and of course years. And I like that's a little touch, especially when it comes to changing things up with what you're doing in SEO and more importantly, getting results in the process. Last but not least, as you can see here, I think the AI feature is great. The pricing is going to be, you know, really depend on what you're looking for. I think it's a pretty fair pricing. You know, it could change. There's always been talks about that. I think they posted in a group talking about how they're going to make something a little bit more affordable. I don't know specifically what they're going to be doing, but when you think about how much it costs to outsource and maybe pay someone, trade in someone when it comes to creating your content, I think they offer a fair price when it comes to the Surfer AI content. And overall, it's very high quality. And I love the fact that it obviously works with Surfer to create optimized content. That's going to be good to go to paste it into your website, add some pictures, index it, and wait for the great results. And on the other hand, we're going to have some Surfer SEO dislikes. First and foremost, I think that their keyword feature could be a little bit better. I'm not going to say that it's bad. I'm also not going to say that it's great. I understand that SEOs probably have their favorite process when it comes to doing keyword research. For me, this probably wouldn't be a part of it. But nevertheless, I still think it's cool that it's at least a feature here in case you want to get some more ideas when it comes to keyword clusters or just more keywords that you can use when you're going to create an article. Another dislike is that they remove the trial that they used to have. I'm not sure why, but I think it's always cool, especially if someone who gets to review software. I love when there's trials because it makes it easier for you to at least be able to test it out. I'm not sure why they did that, obviously, but it is no longer there. And last but not least is going to be like the nitpicks when it comes to the pricing changes and overall add-ons. Back when this first launched, whenever that was, they had so many more features in this, and a lot of those features have turned into add-ons. I know there's been a few complaints here and there, especially in Facebook groups about that, how you have to like purchase a much higher plan just to get, say, maybe the audit or the SERP analyzer, whatever it's going to be. So that could be something that maybe could be fine-tuned, and I know everyone has their own opinion on that, but I think it's going to be a little bit harder for someone who's just getting started to really take advantage of Surfer without going too deep in the red. Nevertheless, despite all the pricing nitpicks, Surfer Surfer SEO is a powerful results-driven software that can most certainly be the big advantage that you're looking to get over your other competitors. I hope you enjoyed my Surfer SEO review, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to check out Surfer, I will leave my link down.
down below in the description where you can click that to get access. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.